Ever since a young age, my history, my family's history of fighting was there for me. I call myself the fourth generation fighter because I'm the fourth generation of my family to pursue glory in the ring, so to speak. My great grandfather was called Christopher Royals and he was a bare knuckle fighter uh, in the 1930s, 1940s, that sort of era. My grandfather was a professional boxer. He also worked on the booths, first as a boxer, as a younger man. And then when he retired, he became a referee uh, for both boxing and wrestling. And then my dad did some amateur boxing. He trained at a club, which I later trained at when I was a teenager in Hereford. And then there's of course me, who's done boxing, martial arts, and now professional wrestling. Uh, we're currently setting up the ring. We try and do it as early in the day as possible, just in case anything goes wrong or little hiccups. So we get as early as we can, set the ring up, it takes around two hours. But yeah, this is the boring part, but it's gotta be done. Wrestling's a pop-up sport, and you've gotta put the ring up wherever you can. Basically, I think he started to live the dream because before he could even talk properly, he was imitating the American wrestlers. He used to make these little squeaking noises and throw pillars around and things like that. And we could never work out what he was doing. And then we realized later on what he was doing. He was imitating the WWF wrestlers on the, on, on the telly. Kind of thought it was just a little phase that he was going through. And I thought a couple of weeks he'll, uh, he'd be finishing, but obviously not. He's, he's kept on doing what he's, what he's been doing. Like. Well, I think it's actually only one of the few sports in the world that you cannot bet on. But saying that, it's a sport, you know, I, I would want to do it. It's very hard, it's not easy to do. Nervous. I always get nervous in my hometown. Uh, especially nervous today because I'm main eventing. This is the flag of the Romani people. I always carry it to the ring with me or have it around me as I walk to the ring. Like this. Every time I look at it, I just think of the, the four generations of my family and what I'm representing every time I go out there in my name. then I decided it was time to pursue the wrestling. This is what I wanted to do. I don't portray myself as a gypsy. You know, I, I just come to ring, I am a gypsy. That's who I am in professional wrestling. My character isn't a gypsy. I'm a character who happens to be a gypsy. And I think because of that, I'm not ramming stereotypes down people's throat or anything like that. I'm just, I come to ring with the flag because I'm a gypsy, it's my people. And I think the gypsy community on a whole, like appreciate that, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's a positive role. I tried to be a positive role model and that's important to me. Well, the parents always get asked, especially my mum, how do you feel about your son doing stuff like this? And for my mum, I think it's a simple case of it was there since he can walk and crawl and talk. If I'm brutally honest, I don't think they probably thought it would come to what it has now. But that's, that's wrestling, and that's life maybe. It's, it's a progress. matches in my career probably the crowd was so hot and that's what you want in a match you just want the crowd to be really into it but they were really enjoying themselves I had a great time out there we won uh, when in my hometown main event that's a feeling you just can't describe always feels amazing
it's been a long day. We've been here since 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, there's been a lot of stress, a lot of worrying, one or two arguments, someone's ended up in hospital, but it all went well. And we're really pleased with it. Uh, another great night for Iron Fist Wrestling.